guys it is monday today i was gonna wait to film this intro because as you can tell my skin is breaking out so bad and i don't have any makeup on but i just i don't know i really want to keep it real and just be like sometimes this is the reality sometimes you are super pale and you have pimples everywhere because it is just one of those weeks that your skin is just not feeling it so if you are insecure and you have a ton of breakouts out of nowhere i do too and you should still be confident this morning i'm just getting a ton of stuff done doing a ton of homework stuff catching up i really just wanted to sit on the couch hunker down and get a ton of things done and so i had an essay to write for my negotiations class it's just like an analysis debrief so it wasn't anything too intense i had to turn something in and then right now i have to do a presentation on my favorite op-ed writer so i'm going to research some writers because i don't even know who my favorite is i just kind of read random stuff so i'm going to find someone to do for that i needed to upload some videos to submit for approval and so i'm just doing all that aiden's going to come over in a little bit to help me take a picture for a sponsorship and yeah that's pretty much it i'm I'm also getting ahead for next week because I'm actually going home this weekend. I'm so excited. I found a super cheap flight through Southwest. I love flying Southwest because you can find such cheap flights. And so I'm going home. I'm so excited to see my family, to see Charlotte and Ezra. And yeah, I just like really miss Texas. And so I'm really excited to go back. I have an interview next week too that I just kind of want to prep for. This is kind of like my catch-up week i just have a lot of stuff to do this week a lot of youtube stuff i also have graduation stuff that i need to like submit an application just a lot of like random stuff i hope you guys are having a great sunday i think that's when this will be posted <laughs> got ready for class but i wanted to mention that i like to have kind of a goal for each one of my week in my life videos i posted this picture on instagram yesterday and my caption was a verse that i think is a really really good verse even if you're not a christian i think that this is a very applicable verse it said whatever is true whatever is honorable whatever is just whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is commendable if there's any excellence if there's anything worthy of praise think about these things this is one of my favorite verses because i think that it is just so applicable for everyone and this week i have a goal of truly only focusing on things that fit those parameters for me personally i'm someone who is very affected by the content that i consume when i say that i mean whenever like i watch certain movies whenever i listen to certain songs listen to even like podcast videos i find that i'm really affected by it it's why i'm so picky with the movies that i watch i don't like things that are like super crude things that are super i don't really like horror movies not a fan of movies that are super sexual it's just these are things that i feel like really affect me whenever i'm watching them and so this week I have a goal to only focus on things that are those categories which means that I'm not gonna listen to music that I feel like is not positive that is not uplifting sometimes I'll listen to like pop songs and you know kind of more trendy music that probably doesn't have the best message if you actually listen to the lyrics I don't want to listen to that this week I know I should do this every week but I'm just especially trying to be conscious of it this week if I'm watching a YouTube video and it's really promoting like materialism or if it's really promoting negativity I just don't want to watch it I would encourage you when you're watching this on Sunday to take this into your following week try to make it your goal and then I'm gonna let you guys know on Friday if I was actually affected by it if I felt different if I succeeded I would definitely encourage you to do it with me so I just changed to go work out. I'm just wearing this Choose to Love shirt that I cropped. This was actually Kenzie Elizabeth's, her old merch. I think it's really cute. And then I'm just wearing my Lululemon Align leggings and then also just my Asics. And I'm probably just gonna do the Stairmaster and then also bike for a little bit. So that's what I feel like doing. Wednesday again I'm coming to you with a ton of breakouts that still have not gone away but it has been an intense past couple of days I actually last night I had class all day my classes were actually really really great and then Aiden's mom was in town and so we went and got dinner with her but I basically just got back late which meant I couldn't do my homework that I have to do today for my class today but I also had Poshmark orders to drop off and this is gonna be a little bit of a rant so if you want to skip this you can I feel like I don't usually rant in my videos but this is just just to show that life sometimes does not go my way and that's okay. I had probably about 30 Poshmark orders I needed to ship and so I had 
packaged them all up on Monday. It literally took me like two hours. I spent so long. Thank you guys so much for ordering my Poshmark stuff. I actually really like it, so I don't mind. But for the rest of the week, I'm pretty busy. I'm going home on Friday, so I knew this morning from eight to nine was the only window that I had to drop these off. Going to the post office is like a pretty big hassle. And so I get there and I'm putting my packages in like the parcel thing because they're already prepaid because Poshmark pays for them. And this man that works there, it's literally 8.30 in the morning. Like there's no one there. He comes over to me and he was like, oh ma'am, I can take that. Which I was like, oh, that's so nice. And so like I gave him one of my boxes and he was like, this is the wrong postage. And like Poshmark only gives you one postage and I put it in a box because it was a pair of shoes. And I have shipped out boxes with this postage so many times. And he goes, yeah, your postage only covers five pounds. This is seven pounds. Which it was like the lightest pair of shoes too. It was the funniest thing. And I was just like told him that I had done it before. He's like, yeah, but that doesn't make it right. And so I'm like, you know what, whatever. It's like two boxes I had. I was like, I'll just put those into envelopes. It'll be fine. And then I have about 25 of these envelopes that I start putting in and he grabs another one of my things again is like oh let me help you with that and I was like I'm not gonna say no so I gave it to him of course he scans the postage and I'm like oh my goodness and apparently these envelopes are for military use but the thing is they are the exact same as normal envelopes like there's nothing different about the weight of these it literally just has this flag on it and I know next time not to do this but the thing is I had ordered all of these online because last time I tried to get them at the store they got mad at me for taking so many so I had to order them online and I guess I just ordered the wrong ones but I was like I don't want to be wasteful I want to use all of these and so I had like 25 of these with this flag and he goes you can't use these these are just for military use and I was like sir I won't do it next time I was like please give me grace I have done this very many times but I won't do it again and he just said no you need to like go repackage them he's like feel free to take as many as you need but you need to repackage them so I walk out of the post office and I'm so stressed because I'm like I have no idea what I'm gonna do this all these poor people ordered my stuff it needs to go out today Poshmark only gives you two days and I literally stared into the abyss and then I turned right around and I went right back do they have a separate room that also has self-checkout but usually it's kind of like dingy and doesn't work very well and you know what guys I just put them all in there anyways which was probably a bad idea in hindsight but I literally had no idea what to do because I was so stressed I was like I literally I have no other time to ship these out and so I get he was doing his job and he worked at the post office you probably get people using the wrong postage all the time but it's just the fact that i have done this so many times guys and they have always gotten to the people so that's my story time from the post office um basically this morning i have to i have a presentation on friday that i need to work on and that was like the main reason why i needed to get back home and then i'm also filming something with my friend carson because she's helping me with an ad that i have to do and so she's coming over and i also have a chapter of a book i need to read before my class today which is bad but i was gonna do it last night but i got back way too late um, I have volunteering tonight and then I have a paper due tomorrow and it's just like I'm very overwhelmed as you can tell and I don't usually get like this but it's just like one of those weeks where I'm like I have no idea like when I can do all this stuff by Friday I'll be fine because everything will be turned in but it's just like until then prayers appreciated guys even though this will be up before then but me and all my breakouts are gonna go work on this presentation yeah two days. I think it's so ironic that I did that in the video that I was like, I'm gonna focus on things that are pure and good. I just like, yeah, obviously I didn't do that. I think it's good to show that sometimes I set goals that like I don't get. Everything actually worked out. My friend Carson is dropping off the rest of my packages and they did indeed ship, so all is well. This morning I woke up at eight. I've just been working on my presentation tomorrow, which I'm feeling pretty good about. I actually really love presentations. I'm very quiet and shy in class, but whenever I actually 
practice and rehearse and do a presentation like I think they're really fun and so I'm actually excited for it I also need to make some edits on a video this morning for a sponsored thing I'm also filming a what I eat in a week video that's why most of like the eating portions of this video have been like super not existent because they've been in that video I was also supposed to leave for Texas at like 8 o'clock on Friday at night but I realized that there are a ton of storms that are actually gonna happen in Texas I do not want to get delayed especially when my flight is so late so I actually bumped it up to an earlier time and getting it I'm getting it at 6 now which is awesome but hopefully the storms start after that and not before I'm pretty sure they're late at night so I think I'll be okay but it also means that I'm missing a class which I don't like to do so I emailed my professor and asked if I could like take the quiz early but I don't know if he's actually gonna like let me do that so we'll see so guys I just got ready for class I'm just wearing this little dress with a black shirt underneath and then some booties I just filmed a video that is gonna go up next week as well I feel so good I'm probably gonna practice my presentation a couple more times and then head to school to see Isabel I'm so excited to see her I miss her so much she used to go to my college but then she transferred because New York passed like the free tuition thing if you go in state so she switched to a state school to take advantage of that she's had such a spiritual impact on me and I feel like we're just really on the same level in terms of our walks with Christ and it's just nice to have a friend who relates on a lot of things so I'm gonna see her got back from my class just now but I wanted to show you guys a swimsuit that I got recently a little swimsuit talk right now I am someone who really prefers finding somewhat modest swimsuits I'm not saying like I need to be completely covered but I do not like showing my butt in my swimsuits and I really don't even have a butt but I feel like every single swimsuit now just has those cheeky bottoms which if you like those that's perfectly fine but I feel like I cannot find swimsuits that don't have cheeky bottoms even if they're one pieces and so I saw Danny Austin post about this swimsuit and I was like I need to try this this swimsuit is $26 on Amazon and guys it is probably my most favorite swimsuit I have now I got this for spring break black swimsuit it has a halter top it ties in the back and then kind of has like an exposed back but I love it because my whole butt is covered like nothing is coming out it is so it is so classy and I'm not super insecure about my body but I feel like I never really put on a swimsuit and feel entirely comfortable there's always like a couple things that I'm like I don't feel entirely comfortable about this but this swimsuit it is the first swimsuit that I feel like I put on in such a long time where I just put it on and I'm like I feel comfortable and like I would just want to wear this like this is cute and so I'll have this link down below this is not sponsored at all I just think that more people should know if you're like me and you like you know not cheeky swimsuits I think that this one is great and it's so cheap and so link it down below it makes me want to order more swimsuits from Amazon I think I might try if you guys know of any swimsuits on Amazon that you like feel free to link them in the comments I'm about to go make a little bit of a snack and then hunker down on the couch and memorize my presentation because I really need to do that and so that's what we're gonna do it's about five o'clock right now I have not just had a night in my apartment in such a long time so I'm so excited just to kind of chill tonight do homework get a ton of stuff done make myself a healthy dinner this is like my ideal night I swear I am a grandma sleeping in my own bed it's honestly worth coming home just to sleep in my bed for like two nights but I'm about to head to sleep and I'm going to end this week in my life video I don't think I'm gonna vlog while I'm home but if you guys want to follow me on Instagram I'll probably be posting on there I just kind of want to enjoy like my couple of days that I have here we basically just went and got tacos tonight and it was really yummy and now i'm super duper tired so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life video and i will see you guys next week bye friends